All right, here's how you update your Red Komodo firmware. Just go to red.com slash download slash Komodo 1.65 version, and then you'll see a beta version. Download the one you want. Probably have to create an account and log in to do that. Then you'll see it over here. Now what you want to do is take the blue upgrade folder, and then you just want to drag it. So make sure you format your card in the camera first. I've installed the newest version of the firmware on the CFast card. Now I'm going to power it up and then what I'm going to do is update it. So I'll show you how that works. So I have the card in there. I've seen videos where people didn't have the card in there and then put the card in later. I've seen videos where people had the card in. Let's just see what happens. I think it's probably better to have the card in. It didn't affect the startup at all. And then so what we'll do is we're going to go to the menu and I just want to turn it so that you can see this a little better. So we'll just turn this so that this is facing upwards for you and I can zoom in on that. So we're going to hit menu. And you can see there we have our image LUT, project settings, into all these settings later. We have our media, our presets, location, system settings, language, and it's in maintenance. You click on the select button and you can see we want to go to upgrade, OK, or we can just hit the select button and hit select. It should give us the option right here to upgrade. So currently we are at 165, which is not the beta version at the time of this recording in February 22nd. It is 165, but there's a beta, so we're going to select that and we're going to just touch and we're going to hit upgrade. So now we're going to go to the latest version, which has some improvements on the autofocus. It also has a different uh, file encoding system. So we have four options now as far as how we want to store our media and in what size. So now it's going to shut down and it's going to reboot and then we'll be on the new firmware version. We're updating the firmware now after this. I think it should trigger us to do some black shading. There's a warning, this is beta software. Uh, I find it kind of funny though, this camera's been out for about, I don't know, two years, two and a half years. Software's still in beta. <laughs> but I guess they're trying to improve things, which is a good thing, instead of just maybe coming out with a replacement camera. Okay, we've got the new agreement we have to agree to. All right, so we're at the bottom. I'm gonna agree to the new firmware. If you look here, I'll probably have to zoom in so you can see, you'll see there's a T and an E. Now that's green, so that's a good thing. And we can also check out our, our temperature too. So if we go to, let's just go to our project settings first before we do any black shading. And see what we have. So we're at 6K, 17 by nine, that's cool. That's what I wanna shoot at. We have our recording frame rate. That's what I wanna shoot at and our project time base, that's good as well. And then we have our file format, which is R3D, red raw. Now if we click here, you can see we have some options. We have HQ, MQ, and LQ. I think for starters, I'm gonna shoot on MQ, so we're, we're cool with that. And we'll just leave that like that. And now what we can do is we can reformat our media because it's got the firmware on there that we don't need. So what we can do is we can go in there and we can go to secure format. So let's go to that. And then we will format that as well. Now you can see we have camera ID, camera position, real number, edge code. We're gonna to go to format and we will reformat that card so that it'll be ready for recording. So we don't need that firmware update on the card any longer. But that was a pretty uh, easy process. I've had problems with Sony cameras in the past that didn't support the latest Mac software. And so this is relatively simple upgrade. Now what we can do is we can calibrate the camera. And if we go down to maintenance there, we're gonna click select. You can see calibrate, calibration. So we are on the factory calibration. So if we want to black shade for this temperature that we are currently at, as well as the shutter speed, then this is where we're gonna do that right here. But I just wanna go back and check out some of our settings here. So the base ISO is 800. And we're gonna do another video about how ISO is a little different on red cameras. Now the shutter angle is set at 180. We are set at 5600 Kelvin. Now also too, if I touch this, I should be able to get into the menu. There's also an auto white balance where you can take a shot of a gray card. We'll get into that in another video. We're gonna click select and then we're gonna click calibrate. Now this is gonna perform a black shade. So what you want is you wanna take the lens off the camera and you wanna make sure that you have your lens cap. Now this is going to check out any noise 
in the image and then cancel that out. So that's what black shading is. So we're going to click OK and then calibration OK. All right, so here we are. The calibration's done. I'm going to click OK. Thanks for watching this video. It's great back to here, and I'll see you in the next one.